Hey there, thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Layla, and right now you're about to hear a story of how God brought me out of one of the most darkest times of my life growing up. I pray that this story would bring you hope, it would give you a boldness, and that you would receive God's love, grace, and mercy that he has for you. Thank you. Hi guys, I'm Layla. <laughs> Um, I'm super excited to share my story with you guys today uh, because like he said in Brazil This was actually the first time that I shared my testimony in a big group setting um, Because for the longest the enemy tried to keep me in shame and in bondage and in fear to share this part of my life It was always so easy for me to share little things that I went through with people but this that I'm about to share with you today was something that played a huge role in my life and one of the biggest experiences of freedom that I received from God. So I hope it ministers to you guys today. Um, growing up, I was not brought up in a Christian household. My parents um, and my family, we would have parties like every other weekend, if not every single weekend. Uh, my parents were addicted to drugs. They were not serving God. I seen a lot of fighting in my household and just a lot of crazy things since a young age. And I found myself um, from the age of five to 15, um, I was addicted to pornography. And you might say like a five-year-old, like what in the world? Um, because I thought that about myself too, like what is happening? And I noticed that there was this huge like generational curse of perversion on my family's life and it attacked me at a young age. And so from five to 15, I was addicted to pornography and I remember going through life in middle school, elementary school, high school, not knowing who I was in God. In the back of my head, I had this thought that I'm disgusting, like this is weird. And for a moment I even thought like, is this normal? Like, is this seven year old? Like, are they having the thoughts that I'm having? Like, what is going on? Like, I was just confused. Like the enemy had a stronghold on my life. And so um, growing up, I, like I said, I did not know my identity in God. And so I found myself going from relationship to relationship, talking to guy after guy, trying to find my true satisfaction in those things. And I noticed it was not getting me anywhere. If, as a matter of fact, I was even more angry after I watched something or I was more depressed after I talked to a guy, I felt more worthless. And so to cut to the great part is God intervened at the age of 12. <laughs> Um, and how that, yeah, thank God. And how that happened is at the age of 12, my family, we actually attended the Wayworld Outreach at the Sierra campus. And I remember walking in during worship because we showed up late to church. <laughs> um, but we walked in and I remember all the greeters were just so loving and welcoming and smiling and hugging me. And I was like, how are these people so happy? Like I'd never seen that before, like true joy and true love for someone. And they didn't even know what I was doing or going through. And so I was like, I want what they have. Like I'm this little girl, I'm angry. I want what they have. And so um, I remember I didn't fully surrender my life to God till I was about 15 years old. And I told God like, okay, like I'm sick and tired of what's happening in my life. Like this is not for me. I'm not finding true joy. Like I need freedom from this. And so um, I found myself coming to God and repenting and telling him, God, I no longer want to deal with this and I don't want this desire and I need you to set me free. And sure enough, he did. <laughs> um, and I'm so thankful because I stand here today um, about to be 21, totally free from that addiction. Um, I no longer find like my fulfillment in guys. Like I'm waiting for my husband. Like I, I'm not searching, you know, I'm not going to the world anymore for that true satisfaction. And the reason why I, I, I know God told me share this testimony in Brazil was because this was one of the deepest, darkest, most vulnerable places that I was so afraid to share. But I know that it was not only gonna bring more freedom to me, but to people as well at, in Brazil. And so I wanna encourage you today that if you may be struggling with something or an addiction, or even if it's something I never even listed, or even fear of sharing your testimony of what God has brought you out of, just do it. I, when we were worshiping, I really believe God told me today that he is saying that he, today is your day of freedom and you will experience freedom and he's willing and ready to set you free. And I just wanna share a scripture before I end. It's um, 
2 Corinthians 5.17, this means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone and a new life has begun. And so I'm sharing this today because for so long the enemy tried to keep me in shame and bondage, but today we're gonna shame him. And today you're gonna get freedom. You're gonna share your story and it's gonna impact so many other people's lives. Come on, let's give God some praise. Yes. Let's give Layla a hand. What a powerful, powerful testimony. Thank you, Layla. You know, she shared that in Brazil in a men's rehab. And there were men, just picture this, men in Brazil that don't speak English are getting freedom from a testimony of a young lady who's, but, but it's not because of what's happened to her, it's because of the power of God that has moved through her. How awesome is that? Let's give God another hand clap of praise for that. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen today. Remember that you have a story that will touch many lives and we want to hear it. Also, if this story has impacted your life in any way, make sure to share it with someone and stay connected with us by subscribing to this YouTube channel and turn on the push notifications. We love you and we pray that you have a great remainder of your day. Thank you.